out to that breaking news out of Prince George's County. We're, uh, uh, we're told that a guard has been shot at the U.S. Census Bureau headquarters in Suitland, Maryland. 11 News reporter Karen Campbell is there live with the late breaking details. Karen, what do we know so far? Well, uh Authorities tell us that security guard is listed in critical condition. Now, we're here along Silver Hill Road. Uh, the entire campus has been shut down. It's been shut down for hours. Now, authorities tell us this all started after about 6 o'clock tonight. That's when Prince George's County spokesman Mark Brady says they received a call for a man who had been shot. Now, once they arrived, they found that security guard had been shot in the chest. Authorities say a man approached the gate, had some kind of altercation with that guard, and then ended up ramming that gate. Now, the uh, campus was shut down for, for a few hours, as I said, uh, after 6 o'clock until uh, about 9 o'clock when that uh, lockdown was lifted. It was believed that the gunman had barricaded himself somewhere inside of that campus. There were uh, tons of tactical units, federal, state, and local law enforcement looking for this suspected shooter. Now, according to our sister station, NBC4, the shooting that happened here at the Census Bureau is connected to a police-involved shooting in North Northeast DC. That ended up with one suspect shot, who is apparently the gunman, and also two police officers were injured. Now, those police officers uh, are reportedly uh, suffering from non life threatening injuries. Now, again, a very uh, scary, intense moment for a lot of folks out here. Now, the uh, U.S. Census Bureau has about 5,000 permanent employees. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, the campus was put on lockdown. So many of these employees who uh, were ready to leave at 6 o'clock, they were told that they cannot because of the thought that this suspected shooter was still somewhere on this campus. And uh, again, this area, Silver Hill Road, is uh, still shut down. There are still police here on the scene making sure that everyone stays safe. And that is our report for now. We'll be back uh, with, with more coming up on WBAL News at 11. For now, Karen Campbell, WBAL News.